This is the questionnaire which we would like you to complete. It may look long and complex, but we are here to help you as much as possible to fill it in as best you can to ensure that your views are taken into account. As you will see, there are 11 questions on a number of topics related to charges for adult social care, including things like daycare, deferred payments, disability related expenditure and transport, which we would like you to answer. To complete the questionnaire correctly, you or your friend, relative or carer needs to tick the box under the answer that you think is the most appropriate. To help you answer the questions, here is some extra information which you may find useful. What is the Care Act 2014? The Care Act is a new piece of government legislation which came into effect from the 1st of April this year. Previously, there were many different laws regarding care and support. The Care Act brings them all together. Its aim is to put people and their carers in control of their care and support. The Care Act makes it clear what care people can get and what councils have to do. What does the term daycare mean? This refers to the daytime care that is available to people who cannot be fully independent. What is a deferred payment agreement? This is an arrangement with the council that enables people to use the value of their own homes to help pay for care home costs. If you are eligible, the council will help to pay your care home costs on your behalf. You can delay repaying the council until you choose to sell your home or until after your death. This means that people should not have to sell their home in their lifetime to pay for care home bills. What is disability related expenditure? Disability related expenditure is any extra expense that exists because of your disability. This can include laundry costs, heating bills, taxi fares, special equipment or clothing, dietary requirements, internet costs or alternative therapies. What is supported living? Supported living is a type of residential support that helps vulnerable adults, including people with learning disabilities, to live independently. Supported living arrangements are very flexible and are designed to give everyone choice and control over their home and the way they live their life. What are short breaks or respite care? Following an assessment of someone's eligible care and support needs, we may decide that person would benefit from a temporary stay in a care home. This could be for a number of reasons, such as providing respite care to a carer or to provide a period of more intense support owing to an additional but temporary care need, for example after being discharged from hospital. There are different types of respite care available. What you get will depend on what the council thinks you or your carer need. This could include Someone coming in to help the person you care for to give you a break. This is known as replacement care. The person you care for going into temporary residential care. Or residential placement for immediate care after an unexpected change. What is a flat rate? This is a charge or level of payment that is the same in all cases. Thank you for taking the time to view this film and to complete the questionnaire. It is really appreciated.